The project director of the TED-BF program at the Aeronautical Development Agency has said that the program is on track, and after approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security, the TED-BF will take eight years to be operational. He also added that the timelines of the project are based on CCS approval, as it will improve program's execution, including the procurement of raw materials. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment has sent the Cavalry dry engine to Russia, and it will first undergo simulated high-altitude tests at Russia's Gromov Flight Research Institute, after which it will be equipped on the IL-76 flying test bed to start flight trials. The successful completion of the flight trials will pave the way for the integration of the 46 kN engine with the Indian Strike Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. Bharat Dynamics Limited plans to manufacture the Israeli LoRa short-range ballistic missile in India. The LoRa has a range of 280 km, and carries a payload of 600 kg, which can be a single high-explosive warhead or multiple submunitions. It can be launched from both ground and sea, and is capable of engaging strategic targets deep in the enemy's territory from mobile or maritime platforms. The LoRa is stored in a sealed canister, enabling very low maintenance costs, and has a shelf life of 7 years. The Indigenous Technology Cruise Missile Program is in the final phase, that will demonstrate the performance of the Indigenous Manic Engine for a range of over 1,000 km in the next few months. Eight Manic Engines are being manufactured, that will be used to start trials of the land-based variant of the long-range land attack cruise missile program for the Indian Army in 2023, and an ship-launched variant for the Navy and an air-launched variant for the Indian Air Force. As most of the technologies have already been validated, the developmental come user trials will be concluded by 2026. The DRDO Larsen and Tubro light tank prototype that will be rolled out in mid-2023, will face stiff competition from new contenders in the Indian Army's light tank program. Israel's Elbit system has offered its 120mm light tank at the Defense Expo 2022, that will draw features from its Sabra light tank and Merkava Mark IV tank. And surprisingly, Bharat Forge has also unveiled its new light tank design at the Defence Expo. The chairman of Bharat Forge has said that the company will unveil the first prototype within a year. India has issued a new no-time warning for the period from 10 November to 11 November for a designated range of 2,200 km, and there is a high chance that it could be the first test of the much-awaited K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile. The K-5 SLBM will have a range of 6,000 km and will carry a 2,000 kg payload. The CEO of Adani Defence has said that the company will come up with a production-ready version of the very short-range air defence system with new improvements in next 12 months. Adani Defence also showcased a 4 km range UAV-launched precision-guided missile at the Defence Expo, that will be equipped on the Archer drones to target tanks, bunkers and fast-moving targets. Centum Electronics Limited India and Indra Systems of Spain have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, to collaborate in high-end space radar systems for the Indian government. The MOU envisages long-range radar manufacturing and commissioning for space applications, to detect, track and analyze objects and debris in space. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for information to procure 201 units of Gen 3 night vision goggles, for Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopters and Mi-17 V-5 Helicopters of the Indian Air Force, to allow smooth and safe flight operations in night conditions. It must have a continuous operating period of 3 hours on battery, and must feature automatic brightness control and bright source protection. Dynamatic Technologies has completed the first F-15EX former assembly for Boeing, 
which is the first aero structure for the latest and most advanced F-15 manufactured in India. Boeing had awarded the contract to Dynamatic Technologies in September 2021, and this completion of first aero structure is a significant milestone for the Indian defense industry.